Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Friends, with a rather short and sweet update a day early, as I have important pie business to attend to tomorrow, so this won't take long, and I won't take up any more of your precious time than is absolutely necessary. After this month's big content patch, the poor old team are having a bit of a breather, but they're still working on plenty of things. It's just that I probably won't have anything concrete to share with you until next week. However, there are a couple of changes that I can confirm and talk about. Firstly, after the new attack heli behaviours this month, what are you feeling about those now, by the way? Yay or nay? It continues to be subject to change. And one new behaviour possibly being implemented is that when it's time to smash into the ground in a big ball of flames, the heli will make an effort to find a nearby monument to do it at instead of just depositing itself at your feet. Talk about playing hard to get, eh? This should hopefully make taking down and looting a heli even more of a pain. I mean, a fun experience. So let me know what you think to this in the comments, please. Door controllers are getting a change up and you'll be able to deploy them straight onto doors like a code lock soon. There'll also be three new AUX inputs on them, open, close and toggle. Also, according to the commits, all door controllers will be unpaired when the TC is destroyed and you'll soon be able to snap other electrical items such as heaters, CCTV cameras and neon signs. There was another optional hotfix last Saturday for some MISC stuff, but it did fix being able to load miniguns with explosive ammo via weapon racks. Enjoy that one if you still can. In other changes, you'll be able to rotate vending machines by 90 degrees, you won't have to run 3 meters away from a buried stash and return to reveal it, and there was a fix to stop backpacks being dropped onto the ground inside a safe zone when you die and being lootable instead of staying on the player's corpse. In works in progress, further to last week's vid, the most fun thing being worked on right now is a Radtown Redux, i.e. a new version of the ultra-nostalgic legacy monument that straddled the ring road. Lots going on with this one in the commits, and I hope to be able to show you something, at least next week, so stay tuned for that. I just hope they don't change it too much. A. Other things being worked on are a new SKS rifle, which will be a reskin, I believe, not a new item, an M939 truck model, not sure what that's going to be for, bikes and bicycles, of course, heavy Bradley scientists, cliff reworks, mission system stuff, and still quite a lot going on with the Nexus system, but no news on when that'll actually hit. Well, I did say I wouldn't keep you, I didn't lie, and now you are indeed up to date. Follow me on all the things including Twitch, my socials and my Steam group. All the links are below and you can support the channel here with Patreon, YouTube memberships and super thanks. I shall catch you all very soon but in the meantime keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Even more of a pain. I mean a fun experience.